Denise, deputies say 24-year-old Jesse Lane is responsible for a lot of vehicle burglaries since Christmas, and he has a long rap sheet. Lane is currently out on bond on a murder charge from 2016. He's accused of killing Lumumba Green. Tonight, he's back in jail on more charges. It's uh, very significant to get someone like him off the street. Deputies say Jesse Lane was the ringleader behind a string of car burglaries in Mobile County since Christmas. An auto burglary in and of itself, you know, is not a violent crime, but when you steal firearms, you know, it can turn, it can change the situation really quickly. Detectives believe Lane was working with a group of people to commit these crimes, some of which were caught on surveillance cameras. Many items were stolen from the vehicles, including several weapons, many of which they say are still out on the streets. When we did recover one of the vehicles that was used in, in a string of auto burglaries over the last few days, as well as the clothing that he was wearing, uh, during some of the burglaries that were was captured in, in home video. Deputies say Lane was seen on surveillance video with Jasmine Davis, who police arrested yesterday, pawning stolen weapons. Lane has a long rap sheet and is currently out on bond for murder in Pritchard. His bond amount, $25,000. It's, it's very frustrating, um, you know, and if you just look at his, his history in general, uh, again, he's got a number of weapons violations. Um, a, pri a previous robbery, and, and you know, I, I don't know that any of that was really taken into consideration. Deputies say this is just some of Lane's loot, guns, car keys, and credit cards. Captain Paul Birch says a lot of these sorts of crimes can be avoided with a simple solution. Just as law enforcement, we cannot stress enough to lock your cars and don't keep guns in your cars. And deputies say Lane will have one to three additional charges, and they believe there are more people involved, and they're hoping to make more arrests soon. In the newsroom, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.